Have you ever wondered why fluency is so important? I'm sure your child's teacher stresses the importance of fluency and fluency practice. In this video, you will learn what fluency is, how it is assessed in school, and how you can practice at home. Fluency is reading words with no noticeable effort. It is having mastered word recognition skills to the point of overlearning. Dibble's Oral Reading Fluency, or ORF, is a standardized, individually administered test of accuracy and fluency with connected text. The passages are calibrated for each grade level. Student performance is measured by having a student read a passage aloud for one minute. Words omitted, substituted, and hesitations of more than three seconds are scored as errors. Words self-corrected within three seconds are scored as accurate. The number of words per minute is the oral reading fluency score. Fluency assessments begin in first grade with the end of the year goal of 47 words per minute, a second grade end of the year goal of 87 words per minute, third grade at 100 words per minute, fourth grade at 115 words per minute, and fifth grade with an end of the year goal of 130 words per minute. Let's watch an ORF assessment of a third grader. Okay, Carolyn, are you ready? Yes. All right, you may begin. As Patrick walked, walked along the path to his neighbor's house, he tripped over a tree root covered by some spiky leaves. He bent down to see if the leaves had scratched him. It was then he saw the nest. It was tucked into the leaves with two tiny eggs inside. He remembered from his school trip to the nature center that he shouldn't touch it. He looked around for the mother bird. Not seeing her, he quietly backed away and continued down the path. If you notice, the teacher is taking a running record of the child reading. To take a running record, the teacher sits beside the child and as the child reads the selected portion of a text aloud in a natural and relaxed environment. The teacher will observe and record everything the child says and does during the reading. Because there's a set code for recording, all teachers can understand and then discuss, analyze, and plan teaching strategies for the child or small groups of children. Out of them, the eggs were smaller than chicken eggs and they were cream colored with brown speckles. One day, Patrick got his answer. Excellent. You did a fantastic job. Every reader is expected to read not only all the words on the page correctly, but also to read the words with voice and intonation and at a comfortable flowing pace. These skills fall under the category of fluency. The bottom line is to practice, practice, practice. Make reading a priority at home. Model for your child how to read by reading to your child daily. Your child's teacher may provide you with weekly fluency passages for your child to practice during the week. Or have your child read a book repeatedly during the week to gain confidence to read accurately and with prosody. Mimicking the fluency assessments during practice will help your child feel more comfortable. Here are some steps and guidelines to follow in practicing at home. First, your child will read the entire passage silently. Set the timer for one minute and have your child read uninterrupted for that minute. Do not help your child, although you're going to want to. Allow them to struggle and decipher words on their own. Record errors, which are misread words, words omitted, and added words. Let's watch a mother and her child practice. Okay, let's practice your reading fluency, okay? So I have the timer set for one minute, and when I mash the button, it goes beep. You're going to start reading, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just want you to do your best job. Don't rush through. Just read very clearly, just like Ms. Hoffman taught you, okay? Okay. Ready? On your mark, get set. Although Mark, Mark, bro, Mark Ham was born in England, she grew up and spent the majority of her life in Africa. She was a famous race horse trainer, when, but when, when she became enchanted with the flying planes, Markham began taking flying lessons, and after only eight hours of lessons, she flew her, she flew her first solo flight. She went on to earn her pilot's license, which allowed her to carry passengers in her plane. Markham covered mail and supplies in her plane and flew sick patients to the hospital. She Remember, the key to fluency is not just speed. The key is being able to chunk groups of words together so reading sounds like speech. When a student does these things well, then his or her speed automatically increases, and so does their comprehension. Atlantic from east to west. Yay! 
In this video, you'll learn that fluency is reading words with no noticeable effort. You saw how fluency is assessed in school and how the assessments are used to cater reading instruction. Lastly, you receive some strategies to implement at home so that your child can become a fluent reader. Remember, the key is to practice.